Hi, my name is Cassie, and this is your five minute tip for the week. And today I am with Melissa Sardinsky, independent contractor for publishers. That's correct. Yes. That's me. Okay, and today we're going to talk about distribution for independent authors and publishers. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Give There's it to me. lots of different levels of independent that independent publishers can participate in for distribution. Um, there's a full service distribution arrangement, there's wholesale distribution, there's fulfillment distribution, mm. and there's really self-distribution, which a lot of independent publishers fall into. It's true. Um, so there's are four major categories, and I think for the independent publisher, most of them are gonna fall into the fulfillment and the self-distribution. And the things that I would say is, know where you want your publishing program to go. Do you want to build a big backlist or do you just want to publish your, your own works? And so if you're ready to build a backlist and publish other people's works and really have that solid financial foundation, make yourself a plan so that you'll have a backlist, you look good to a distributor, and you have the financial platform to build a marketing and publicity program for your program to build your brand. Ooh. Building a brand Ooh. with distribution is key. Oh, and wow. so if you've got a brand that's strong and you're building it, um, building a program, you're going to want to look at the full service distribution so that you can have people working for you while you just build your program and do what you love. How about the dollars? The dollars, um, <laughs> the dollars and cents are what you need to be looking for in any relationship that you have, whether it's working with a wholesaler, working with a full service distribution, or even doing just pick, pack, and ship. You've got someone that's storing your books for you. You're taking the orders and they're fulfilling them. You really need to watch your fees. Understand that returns are a big part of the, bit, the publishing industry and the book selling industry. And so you really want to watch the fees in any sort of arrangement, financial arrangement you make in distribution um, and understand what's going to happen when those books come back. Because books do come back. Okay, yeah. It's, it's like anything, right? It's like anything. Make a plan. So the most important thing is, is if you want to build your brand and you want to get into the larger world of publishing, publishing lots of authors, or you've got a huge brand, lots of titles for yourself, make sure that your titles are evergreen, that you've got a solid backlist that will sell for years to come. And that'll look really great to wholesalers and full service distributors. I love it. So let me make sure that I understand what you're saying right there is basically this is not for starting from scratch. You have to have a base. That's right. That's right. If you've got one title, you're going to want to stay in the self-distribution land. And, and there's lots of great platforms out there that can help you make your content available in the space and help get your books in front of readers. And that's okay to have one title. But if you want to go into wholesale distribution and you want to go into that big world of distributing your books globally, you're really going to need to build that strong financial base. I love this. Thank you so much. That was... So impactful, what a great tip. So, Melissa. Yes. How do we get a hold of you? Uh, these days, you can find me on LinkedIn. My name is Melissa Sardinsky, spelled S-E-R-D-I-N-S-K-Y, and I'm out there. Okay, wonderful. So, this woman who has all of the information about distribution, definitely find her on LinkedIn. And thank you so much. She did a presentation for us at SIPA here today, Saturday, and it was mind blowing. Thank you for giving us the five minute version of that, of that very wonderful You're speech. Welcome. You're thank welcome. You. It was great. All right. Well, thank you so much, you guys. This has been your five minute, just a less, a little less than five minute tip today. And we'll see you next week for the next five minute tip. Bye. Bye.